14, 15, 16, 17. Ah, watch that balance. That felt great. Really, really, really thankful for that one. Okay. Let's go 20 again here. All the way up, 14, good. 16, 18, 20, good. So that feels pretty solid right there. The other thing I gotta be mindful of, and I want you guys to remember, is like the next day, all right? So a good, um, kind of a good thing to sh look for is you don't want to be more sore than you were when you started day of, right? My man Nick uh, kind of broke this down for me too. If I'm just as sore, that's okay. Ideally, we want to feel better, but we also have to factor in rest. So we want to do the exercises. That is going to promote the change, but we also have to give our body ample time to recover. So if you're not recovering, you're going to be more susceptible to injury. So make sure if you're putting in the work and you're putting in the time in the gym, which is great, we wanna be pain free, but tomorrow for me to do the same thing again may not be beneficial. Now if I'm 19, I'm a collegiate athlete, I've got different things going on in my body, less you know, tr trauma, less trauma that's happened over the course of my, you know, of my life. So you, know, you can take it for what it is, like in terms of age and stuff and where you're at and where you've been, but I would say be mindful. So tomorrow I'm probably gonna go heavy upper body versus trying to do something like this again. Maybe I'll do some reverse sled or some reverse walking. Probably not even reverse sled though. All right, so now I'm gonna go back here. And so let's see if the, if the range is different than it was before, okay? So now I'm coming in, how does this feel? So still a little tight at the bottom but much better. Three, four, I'm gonna do seven just to get a couple extra on the left. One more. You know, the other thing you wanna keep in mind is how your body works together. If my knee range of motion is less in this exercise, the stretch in my opposite hip flexor is going to be less also. So. It all connects, all right? So we got, we got to look at the body as a system and not just as individual pieces, right? Like if I'm trying to do a hip flexor stretch here and I can only go this far, I'm not getting as much stretch here as if I can go this far, okay? Foot staying on the ball, the foot the whole time. Two, three, four. Good hold and up. So, so far I'm pretty happy with this, honestly see how I'm feeling tomorrow, but I'm feeling pretty good. Um, and I think a lot of that is just like being patient enough, right? I haven't, I haven't hit this, uh, I haven't hit this like cycle in at least a week, right? So I'm not trying to do this, you know, too much. All right. So now this will be another, another good test. Good moment of truth here to see what's going on with this knee, all right? I'm gonna fight down, and let's see if this feels any better, if I'm able to hold more and maybe potentially even come up. Oh yeah, much better. <clears throat> A little pop there, still working on the strictness on these. I'm gonna fight. Oh, so my knee feels good, but my <laughs> My hammies are a little torched because Monday, which was two days ago, I went heavy deads with my boy and I did do a set, um, a friend of mine, I did do a set of Nordic, so I'm gonna keep that in mind. The hammies are definitely barking at me a little bit on the way down, so might factor in. Ooh, I think that's four. I'm gonna do one more if I missed one, sorry. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, the hammies are, the hammies were, were talking. Oops, sorry. 
Hammies were talking right there. I'm gonna be honest with you, okay. All right, let's go here now. Last set, okay. Hammy's got a, ooh, yeah, I got, I got him there. Okay, so now I'm going back here. Same thing, all right? I think on this one I'm gonna do 30 on the left, 20 on the right, just to get a little extra work on this left one. But same thing, feeling really good right now. Three, Good, 12, 13, quads definitely feeling the work. 15, 16, 18, 18, 20. We'll do 10 more. One, two, three, four, five. Good control on the way down. Six, seven, eight, nine. Last one. There we go, 30. Ooh, very, very happy with this session right now. It's not always the case, so, I mean, I'm always thankful for any opportunity, but you know what I mean? I'm very happy with the progress here. Three, four, oops, five, six. Always helps to keep that gaze up. Don't turn out to look down. You'll feel the floor. There you go. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, Last one, 20, boom. That was a little sloppy on that last one. But you know, okay. And then let's go here again. Split squat one more time. All right, we're gonna jump in, get in that deep, that deep knee bend. Open up that back hip flexor. Keep that toe up. Okay, and now I'm, usually I've gotta use this on the left a lot because I can't, I can't handle the force of my body weight through the knee, but right now I'm feeling really good. Three, four, five, six, last one, seven. Ooh, yeah, that's good. Okay, we'll do the same thing on the right, but I'm just gonna go five reps, open up the back hip flexor. One, two, three, four, So here's the other thing I want you guys to remember is I'm not using any weight here. On the sled I dragged weight, but your body weight weighs something. So don't sleep on feeling like you have to use additional weight. I need to master my body first. So if I'm in here overdoing it, trying to progress too quickly with weight, which I've done, and it's always a fight to not do that, okay? That can be problematic, but if you do the exercises right and you do them with as much intention and proper form as possible, you're gonna see huge results just mastering your own body weight. So keep that in mind and stay patient. Okay, let's go. Last Nordy right here. And then we'll see if I can get some, see if I can get some hip flexor stretching. Shout out to my sister who's doing French class with my son virtually. And my, uh, my daughter's in there too. So thankful for her uh, educating. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for five again, again. This, especially this right hammy was talking to me. So I might do actually some one leg uh, stuff at the end to kind of give the left side because when I when you have an imbalance and you're doing two-legged things just instinctively a lot of times the the stronger side right is gonna take more of that load so I may just try to go a little bit here on the left side after so let's just see if I can get like five here and as you guys watch watch my calf as I come down so it's hammy for sure but this calf muscle is really handling load as well okay so I'm here Oh yeah, hammies are, hammies are smoked. Just triggered the hammies. Yeah, see what I did there, dad joke? Oh, that's three, let's go two more and then we'll go a little bit on the left. Ooh, daddy, okay, here we go. 
Oof, okay. Now I'm gonna go here. So now I, now I can't hold this, right, with, one, with just my left leg, with either leg, but especially my left leg, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bend, and what this is gonna do is it's gonna distribute the weight more as opposed to this being like, it's almost like a regression of weight. So this is the most weight through that leg. And if I go here, now there's less, okay? And I can just kind of use my hands, catch, but still allow some force to go through. So this is really exposing this left leg, right? Because I can't even, I can already feel the tension on the knee, like immediately. And if I compare that to my right leg, you know, it's the hammy, but it's not the knee. So I gotta, this is good to expose that. I'm just do a few more here. Putting pressure there, right? And then just almost, I'm holding and I'm just easing myself down. Three, let's go two more. Four, so there's tension staying on this the whole time. Ah, yeah. And that was just kind of a, that was just sort of like a, uh, just on the spur of the moment right there. So don't be afraid to do that either when you guys are training. Don't be afraid to just, you know, drop into a, a random experimentation. You know, just be smart about it. Good there. Y'all yeah, see the bottom, okay. So now I'm just gonna hit a couple. Let me lower you a little bit more. So now I'm just gonna hit a couple more. Uh, now I'm just gonna hit a couple stretches here. We're going. We're going hip flexor, okay? So knee all the way to the back. Again, gotta watch the flexion on this knee because as I come back, I'm, you know, the hip flexor's tight a little, but that knee can be super painful. So right here, this took me probably two years, maybe a year and a half to get like comfortably into this position. And this is actually better than a lot of days right now. So I'm just gonna camp out here for a minute, kind of push off the knee if you need to, but this is gonna really open up this quad and this hip flexor. Head to wall is solid. 